I visited the mine on the 6th of January and uh, with the environmental manager of the mine, we did a walk over in order to acquaint myself with the extent of the slurry spill. My first observation was that most of the slurry was contained just below the breached slurry pond where a containment berm was constructed. The uh, water quality in the Mavalu River uh, based on the water quality data sheet indicated that the water was not fit for potable use and uh, although it borders the livestock watering water, water quality um, parameters or limitations, uh, it was rather recommended that no one should actually use water from the Mavalu River for both potable use or for livestock watering. The water quality data in the Black Umfolosi River did not show any deviation from the upstream point to the downstream point. We have taken samples of the slurry for analysis. And these analysis are basically done in accordance with the specified regulations. Now, now you use the acidic leach test results and based on that, the slurry come out as type 3 as it is. Now, um, if that slurry then is entering the Black Umfolosia River, then the conditions is quite different. It's no longer acidic conditions. It is neutral conditions because the pH of the slurry indicated that it's neutral. So it's less of an impact under neutral conditions because none of the heavy metals or none of the metalloids will get dissolved and released into the environment. So we've tested for that as well by taking sediment samples and we have the sediment samples analyzed for a directive toxicity test, which is the deep toxicity test. Now the toxicity test results that has come back has indicated that there are two areas that has shown no toxicity and seven other areas that six other areas that has shown slight acute toxicity it means that um, the sediments uh, will allow for the germination of seeds and um, so the slight uh, acute toxicity test will not have that high impact on the environment so the impact will be low to moderate we have further tested the toxicity by taking a, um, um, samples of, of, of the fish uh, in the river. We've um, caught six different fish species. None of the fish species has shown any stress levels uh, that can be linked to the slurry spore. There was further more no one that reported fish kills in the river. There was no dead frog, no dead crabs in the river. So basically the water quality in the Black Umfolosi was of such a quality that it sustained the aquatic life. 